Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 14th of August and starting with the DAX here we've got this bearish count on our website and um, I need to address that so um, and we've been looking at it before as well we we're looking for an A and a B and a C wave up here so we could look at this here as one and two here and three and four and wave five here finish so um, maybe there's a little bit of space to have one more little high in here but the takeaway here is that if get my drawing stick if the 12,800 from here on in becomes the retested resistance then you have a short trade at that point okay so we still need that reference point low there to be breached and if that's whatever wherever that is if that's breached then you've got a clear um uh, a clear run at that point but at the same time um i've been looking at the pattern to the upside as being bullish um and we need to address that as well so just perhaps the hourly chart here would do that i'm not going to go into the bigger picture um, but uh, we looked at this as wave one here, ABC for two here, one, two, three, four, and five here. The 38.2% retracement level is the high end of the box. The wave four of one lesser degree is the lower end of the box here. That also brings us into, just copy that, the 12,800. So as I mentioned before, if that becomes the retested resistance, then we know that we've got overlapping wave structures and that uh, if it just dropped down from here, you know, and went under here, then that's where the short trade is. Otherwise, we'll be looking for a move to the upside. Let me just... Um That's probably done and dusted there, actually. Um, so in this case, well, we may end up getting a situation where it may be the A wave here, the B wave here, and the C wave here, and then moving up here. But um, this is clearly five waves here. So anywhere above that would be um, would be bullish. And the other thing here is that this is uh, the previous high, so it would be nice to breach that. Um, so, yeah, wave threes a little bit short um, in, 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 in terms of being a wave three, but it does have better structure. You see how this one here was quite quick here? This one here has got more definition to it, more form for it. So but I just want to have a look exactly where that sits. I mean, it's longer than wave one, so that's something. So ju just though, well, that means the normally what happens if wave one and wave three are the same length, then wave five can have the extension in it. But it would be nice to see it breach above here. That would help me at that point. And um, many of the markets around the world were looking for tops of wave threes here, so that could be in line with that. So um, that's what I'm thinking. Um, but I won't go into that right now. That's just another it's another whole story. Um, on the 15-minute chart here, we've got a um, a long trade still sitting in here. You may have exited at the 13,000. So just from this wave one and wave two here, we've got wave one and two. So we went long above here, and I've been lifting the stop up. You may have exited here. If you haven't exited, then we still need to leave the stop under this point here um and if the market let me just try and see that maybe let's just let just have a look on the cash market i couldn't really get an answer off the um off the cash market and uh, it looks a little bit bearish looks like five waves and i've tried to pull this apart here but it's just a bit too messy in a couple of places here to actually pin down now if it was going to be more bearish then it's going to hit the thirteen thousand here and then drop from that point so um, uh, short-term tra day traders could probably even short this uh, this this low here. Um, but uh, on the long side, if you're going to go long, then you would need the market to be sitting back on the 13,000 there. So that would obviously move up and, and eventually sort of sit on there. So that's what you'd be looking for and just waiting for these, wait for these highs to come in. Uh, then you can go long again at that point. And when you go long here, then lift the stop up under the last low or lift it up to um, 
you know, lifted up under these points here once that becomes the retested resistance there. But I'm pretty sure I would have said to get out over here, okay? So I don't think this should be in there at the moment, but um, I may not have said that, but I'm, I know sort of who I am to a point. So um, I would have would have suggested 13,000 would have been the, the, the area there. Um, yeah, I just can't figure out this little bit here. So let's just see what, what we get in this point here. I mean, the market should just push up from there. And just looking at the S&P 500 here, um, we're looking at wave one and two here, then one and two and three and four and five here, then A and a B and a C here for wave four. So um, this is pushing up sort of nicely. So keep an eye on, on this if this takes out. About this high here, then um, then we'll move from that point. I mean, this can be an impulse wave to the downside with an A and a B and a C coming up here and failing from here. But getting support on top of 80 here would be the first sign. The 3380 would be the first sign that that the market is positive, um, and as we expect Friday to be normally in the bullish weekly cycle. Uh, so then we can push up from there. So that would take the DAX up higher at that point. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, FTSE. Oops, a daisy. Okay. Look, I've just been playing around with counts here, and um, I know you can throw tomatoes at me uh, for this particular counts uh, here, but the FTSE's been really sort of heavy and lazy and hasn't really moved anywhere. And I know a lot of stocks around the planet are looking at uh, tops of third waves and so on. So I've just tried to tie that in here. Um, this particular move down through here, I've looked at this as being uh, corrective in, in, in any case. Um, and we've been looking for uh, a move to the upside here. And in fact, looking being long in this little move to the upside here. Um, we would be, you know, if, if with a big if, if this was correct, um, then we need to see five waves up there. So, so, so far, I've only got three waves here. And we'd also need to see it breach this top here, or at least reach this top up here to get to this to get to this space here. Will it do that? I, I don't know. I mean, um, let's let's see. Let's just uh, check in here. I can't remember what uh, charts I've updated here. So this is just the hourly chart here. So what we noted here is we had five waves up here, the same with the DAX and an ABC correction. And then in this case here, I've got um, an ABC for wave two here. And then I was looking at this as wave one and two here, then one, two, three, four, five, four, one and two and three and four and five. So in this case here, we're still, and the DAX might be the same as well. It's just the DAX was a little bit messy in this area here. In this case here, we've got um, green wave one and two here. And then we're looking for five waves up of one and two and three and four here, and then moving up for five here. So we should see that uh, move up from that point. But that looks a bit bearish, you know, it looks a bit impulsive. So we may end up getting something like this and then up. So just be mindful um, of that. The If I take this here, I mean, I should take that, but I'm going to take this to here that gives us a 38.2 percent so it may just sit there that's all it's just that the way four of one lesser degree is a little bit lower in this space here so certainly can't go short in this space so it is building nicely as an impulse wave um, but at the same time it can be an a wave a b wave and a c wave either to here or to here um, and uh, then move further down but we wouldn't turn bearish in this unless it and you know move down uh, much further like down into this bre breaching this space basically 6100 here would need to be the retested resistance before we looked at any unless something really jumped out and said to us that this is a bear market um, but as it stands um, uh, you know we're, we're pushing higher here we expect Thursday to be the the bearish day in the bullish weekly cycle and and Friday and Monday to be the uh, the bearish day on Thursday and Friday and Monday to be bullish days, a bit of profit taking on Tuesday, then the trend resuming and um, Wednesday, a bit of a V-shaped day like this here, being down in the morning and up in the afternoon kind of thing. Um, alrighty, uh, I'll just leave it uh, at that. Um, if we're long here, we're just going to bring the stop to this particular point here. Um, I may have mentioned of getting out uh, at these levels, I can't recall. Um, but uh, yeah, if this um, finds support back up on here, then obviously move the stop up. But otherwise, we should be heading, we should technically, we should be heading uh, higher for all of this here. So 
let's just see what we've got here we're still in the trend line so uh, and we're still looking to the upside so let's just see let's just sit tight on our long trade here um, I don't think that anything I can further add to this in any way um, so yeah look as long as this market stays above 6-1 then we are still bullish alrighty cheers